Welcome to Aiguille du Midi at 3,800 meters. We are right above Chamonix down in the valley. Winter is back and it's probably a good time to know everything about layering. So I'm going to show you how to get it done and protect yourself from the elements. So you have to think of layering like an onion with a bunch of layers, with each layer having its purpose to protect yourself from the elements and keep you warm. The first layer is the base layer, which you wear next to skin. It can be synthetic or a wool-like material like merino. The idea is to wake away your body moisture, your sweat, dry quickly, which keeps you comfortable and warm. The second layer is the mid layer. The idea is to trap warmth and offer versatility. You want something warm, stretchy, comfortable, just like the chumbu fleece, so it doesn't restrict movement. The third layer is the insulation and down layer. The idea behind it is to retain body heat and to shield you from the cold elements. The down feathers in your jacket or the synthetic insulation traps air and creates like a thermos effect that blocks the cold. The fourth layer is the shell layer. This is the one that protects you from the elements. You know, it protects you against snow, water, wind. The shell material is super durable. It is resistant against rocks or ice, and it generally features a membrane in there. The membrane acts like a second skin. It wicks away your body moisture or sweat, but also protects you from the outside moisture like the rain. Shell material keeps the warmth inside and it keeps you dry. When you go in the mountains, it's a good idea to bring an expedition jacket to keep you warm when it gets really, really cold. This is something you wear around base camp, for example, and you don't put a shell jacket over it. It is a relaxed cut, you put it over another thermal piece and it has a high fell power. This means that it has a lot of high quality down in there to really shield you from the cold. This jacket is the Mondu jacket. It has a bunch of different colors because we use leftover fabrics during production to not waste anything. It is crucial to memorize all the layering steps to optimize your protection in the mountains. Step one is the base layer or next to skin. Step two, the mid layer with the fleece. Step three, the insulation or down layer for warmth. And step four, the shield layer to protect you from the elements. If you respect all the steps of the layering guides, you ensure that you're prepared no matter what your mission is gonna throw at you. So now that you know everything about layering, get out there, get it done, and remember, you're made for missions.